welcome to Snug Radio's Retro Lounge episode 121. And tonight we're going to be looking at some hacks. Uh, so games which uh, weren't uh, how they were originally intended, I think is the best way of putting it. Because we've got games that are going to look different, but you'll recognise what they've been based on. And we're going to have games that play differently than they used to. It'll all become clear as we get on. Um, I should apologise if you can hear fan noise. I'm hoping it's far enough away that you won't hear it. But it's bloody warm in here tonight. So let's move over to the arcade so we can get our game on, shall we? Why not? Boop. There we go. Whoa. Oh, look at this. What? What? What on earth can that be? I know it's written in the bottom, but what on earth? What on earth is that? Um, so we're starting with the Atari VCS. So uh, look, we've got 10 games tonight. And I don't expect to play the first few for a long time. But I was intrigued and I had to see what they were. So that's why, we, that's why we've got them. Um, we're going to have a look. But yeah, there's, we've got three Atari... 2600 games um, and the first one is Dawn of the Dead so I'm super curious so let's find out what it is right well I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing there but um Let's turn it down a little bit for you. Because why would you want to choose to listen to that? Right. So. We occasionally have issues with the Atari VCS and its controller. So let us um, have a look at the game controls and make sure that they're set to the trusty old pad. Okay, they are now. They weren't, but they are now. Okay, so. So, looks like we're going up screen shooting zombies then, by the looks of it. Yeah, I can't make it start. One eternity later. You see, and this is why we've got 10 games. So that, you know, when one of them doesn't work. Right, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to try another one. And we're going to see if it's the uh, the emulator that maybe needs restarting. Wouldn't be the first time. Or if it's uh, if it's the game that's buggered. Okay. Oh. So the second game on the list is called Donkey Kong Vector. And I think, well, I can see that doing an outline version of it. So I suspect this is just a graphical hack rather than a gameplay hack. Right, okay, disappointing. Um, let's try a game that's not Atari VCS. Ah, oh, Nez, right. Well, I do, I, do you know what? I wonder if it's the pad. Let's turn it off. Welcome to Tech Mondays. Where we look at problems that Math's got with his connection. Okay, so it is connected and now it's working. So I wonder if it's working. Still not working for the Atari. All right, we'll come back to the Atari later on then, shall we? Mm -hmm. 
So this is Pack Bomber, which I believe is a a, a Bomberman hack. Ooh, I don't like the way it controls. It's got quite a delay in it. Oh, oh, do not like this at all. I like the look of it. Oh, see. It's very, um, it's very fussy. I'm not trying to make an excuse for my controller. Uh, for my gameplay, sorry. It just is. Uh oh. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so obviously based on the um, the NES uh, Bomberman. I could tell by the way the monsters died. Oh. No, 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 no. Oof. I would have expected to have found some power ups or something by now. honestly don't feel I've played that much NES Bomberman to be honest in fact I think my introduction to Bomberman was probably on the Amiga Slow, sluggish. I assume I've got to kill them all before I can get out. down there just keep going backwards and forwards there we go what that'll teach me uh, I... Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. oh well. Um, it's very possible we're going to get through these games a lot quicker than I anticipated. Some of them don't work, and some of them are very slow. But that's the whole point of a hack. Let's just have a look. That's what we're doing. We're just looking. Um, I still want to keep going back to these Atari 2600 ones and find out why they're not why they're not working. Oh! Pause! Pause! You bastard. Right, okay, we, well, we've got one working, so the others might work. I'm going to die. Oh, it's paused, hasn't it? Because I'm trying to get a screen for you. Um, so, we're going we're gonna to go back to Donkey Kong Vector. If I can find it. There we go. Get all the bloody steps. Oh, got me. Oh, spent too long looking at the bloody sound then. Did I pause it? What did I just press? Wow, got no idea. Oh, and I've just done a restart. Oh, maybe I didn't pause it. What's the 11 for then if I didn't pause it? Oh, oh is that on my lives? Maybe. Maybe. my lives. It's been stupid. <sighs> oh, why can't I get him lined up on the ladders? Oh, why is he not climbing? Wow, does it only play one game? I'm sure I've played more than one game. Do I have to reset it after every game? Seems a bit rubbish if that's the case. <laughs> Not even the right button. Why? 
I used to play Donkey Kong with the reactions of a hungry cheater. And because it's an Atari and it's slower, I'm trying to do things before it's letting me do them. No excuses, I'm just saying. And it's quite irritating that it won't let me climb up the stairs properly. It does look like I have to restart it every time. Oh! F off, you jackass. Makes me want to crack open the ColecoVision version of this. Well, that's not what we're doing tonight, though. No, stop it. I think it's uh, having an eight-way controller on on the older games is a bit of a disadvantage because you because it sometimes wants to go diagonally instead of just directly up, down, left and right. Um, and it's not so... I mean, it's it's only since I've started doing doing Retro Lounge that I've thought... that I've actually realised that that is an issue. Um, but there you go. Well, that was Donkey Kong Vector. Hack. Um, shall, we, shall we try Dylan the Dead again just to see... Now, okay, we're giving up on Dawn of the Dead. We're going to try our, um... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so we're going to play Doctor Who, Dalek Invasion. And, um, this one, this one's definitely, um... A graphical hack. The gameplay, I imagine, is exactly the same as what I'm expecting. But this is... Um... Well, I should just get the screen, shouldn't I? And show you. This... Is... A hack of Berserk! And I'll probably get shot as soon as I switch back, but let's go anyway. Oh, no, I just walked into a wall instead. How stupid. Ooh, see what I mean about diagonals? I was pointing straight down then. Oh, and I can't stop once I start running. Ah, yeah. So, this is a real problem in this game. The diagonal thing is a real problem. Because... My fat fingers are pushing the um, the joypad and it's going a diagonal, not up and down. Let's have another go. I mean, the doctor wouldn't actually shoot Daleks, but... I'm a little bit curious of uh, if, if Evil Otto is going to come in and if he is, who, it, who it's going to be. I don't think you get an evil lotto in them. Um, in the first level. Can we make it run into it? Yes, we can. Can I dig it? Oh, 
Oh! See? Oh, ooh, ooh, so sensitive. Oh, and again, walking off to a diagonal. Fuck. Come on, you little shitbag. No, no, run into, run into the wall. Go on. Go on. Pop. I do wonder if there is perhaps um, a setting for for these emulators and stuff where you can say only recognise four axes on a controller if you're if the game is is older than a certain age then only recognize although you can fire die oh, you see you can fire diagonally in it sometimes you have to fire diagonally in berserk to get one of the robots so that wouldn't work We're not here to fix that. We're here to play uh, games. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that was Doctor Who Dalek Invasion. Um, which, as we said, was Berserk. Classic arcade game. Um, but we're going to move on. You might recognise that music. So, this is another hack of Bomberman. Now that we're back on track. Uh, this is... Um, well, this is... I picked this for Nutty Cluster, really. I'll, I'll, although our internet's rubbish. Um, I saw this and I thought, oh, I should like that. So, we're going to play Bomberman Bomber Pikachu. And it's going to play... I imagine very similar to um, to Pikachu, uh, to Pikachu, to Bomberman. Got an iced coffee in here with with ice and a bit of almond syrup and a bit of Kahlua, and I'm not sure if the milk's on the turn. Difficult to tell with all those flavours in. Oh, please work. Yes. Okay, so we're looking at a, a Game Boy, even though it's... Um... Alright, what's my bomb? There it is. So this is a Super Game Boy, which was um, an attachment that would let you play Game Boy carts on your NES. And um, this is obviously one of them. Shit. Shit. I'm assuming that's loud enough for everybody. Oh, when I say everybody, I mean Naughty Cluster. But her uh, internet's so bad, it probably won't matter. I might regret it when I'm editing the video, like, but... Uh... Oh, I can't get away. Again, with the bloody diagonals. Sure, it was going to get me then. So that's the door to get out once we've killed them all. Oh, 
Go! Oh, stop, you see, I stopped running. Diagonal. I wonder if, um. I wonder if it'd be worth seeing if there was a. Perhaps a four direction joystick, a Bluetooth type arcade stick or some description. I know you can get them to do upgrades on the um, Arcade 1 games. No dancing matter, Pikachu. Yeah, get out of it, I had you then. Gonna out of time, aren't I? No! They're just stalling. Oh, there you 
you go. Bomber Pikachu. Honestly, not as cute as I thought it was going to be. To be fair. Because I only noticed Super Game Boy in brackets afterwards. But... We're just here to check them out. Uh, we're going to move to a Mega Drive now. Um, this is listed as a hack, but I feel I've played it as a normal game. Um, but we're just we're just going to trust that it, it's a hack, um, and we're going to play Fix It Felix Junior. From Wreck It Ralph, and it's on the Mega Drive. Let's turn it up. Okay, so I, I mean, it looks to me like this is the, the recreation of the actual arcade game I'm gonna wreck it. from Wreck-It Ralph. like um, anti-rampage is the opposite of rampage surely something's going to start coming out of these windows at some point and knock me off jump if there's a window box. Gotcha. I have to remember that. Nope. Didn't get moving quick enough. Oh. Well, I can't jump if there's blinds open. isn't it?
Okay, back down to the bottom and up the middle. Oop. So, oh, I was going to say, I didn't think I could go I left and right. Assumes the flashing hat means I'm invulnerable. Not anymore. Too busy worrying about the freaking flashing hat. Shit, can't get down either. I can't jump up when there's a box and I can't jump back down either. Surely I've got a hammer in my hand. Bloody... I don't advocate hammering a duck, but if it's flying towards you... Oh, come on, we'll have another go at that. It's a right, skipping the story. No. A lot of unskippable build up. Which makes me like, oh, really? Arcade machine of this somewhere. What box I've put it into? Thank you. 
Wow. Oh, it got me. Thought I'd got out of the way. Ooh, I'm going to do this. It. No, I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, that night ice girl's not mine, is it? How foolish, foolish of me to even think that. Oh. Well, there you go. Fix It Felix Jr. from their hit film, Wreck It Ralph. Not 100% sure that counts as a hack. It's not based on a different, on another game. It's just been created for the Mega Drive to promote the film one, one would imagine okay another one for Naughty Cluster oh possibly not who knows yes yes another one for Naughty Cluster um, still on the Mega Drive now we're going to look at Metal Sonic Hyperdrive There you go, look at that bugger. So, then, Metal Sonic Hyperdrive. We know how much Nutty Cluster likes the way I play Sonic. So let's have a look, see what we've got. Yeah, of course, the buttons have changed and they've got a bit of a delay on. Oh, oh fantastic. Shield on. Bastard. Nope. Oh, I needed a run up there, didn't I? I'm not gonna get it. one. I'm gonna gonna set that platform instead. I think. Why won't he stop running? Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I make it? I can't make it. Oh, I can make it. Right, do I need to go anywhere or do I need to? Oh, 
how do I do um How do I do the attack? There's an attack, isn't there? Oh, speak of the devil. when I hit that. Oh, not yet. Could have done with the art. Expertise. Probably needed to wait for that. Don't we? That's it. Snakey snake. whole rings though backwards and forwards. No, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Why? Oh no, come on. Bloody, bloody spikes. Oh. 
No, 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 no! You stupid edge off. No, oh, not again. Going so well. No, it wasn't. I wonder if it would be better getting up there. Can I get up there? Oh, no, I can't. I just miss it. Thank you. We've seen the way I play. I need as many checkpoints as possible. Thank you very much. Oh, fuck off. That's it. Done my nata. Sonic the Hedgehog. There you go, Metal Sonic Hyperdrive. Let's move on to our uh, final Mega Drive game for this evening. He says, checking it for sound just in case. I feel we've played this as well. At some point. This is the Killing Game Show. And I don't know why it's a hack. I don't know. I'm not hearing any sound. <sighs> oh, 
hear a sound now. Okay. Oh! Oh, we played this not so long ago. Why did we play this? Where's my shooter? Where's my shooter? So... We probably won't play this very long. I can't remember what, why... Oh. I feel a little shit was different. Honestly, I can't see a whole lot of difference. Except it's harder. Let's have a shove to the options, shall we? option. Feel like you've gone around in a circle. Yeah. I feel like the other one, the original one we played, had better weaponry. Oh no, this is not the right way to come. Say, so, I have to press the. I feel certain the other one had um, hold down and like machine gun type fire. So we do keep going up upwards mostly. Need to find another um, Continue playing that. I don't feel that it's that much different. Although I guess if we looked at them side by side, there might be a difference. Um, but that was the Killing Game show. It's going to be a super short show tonight. Or this episode, I should probably say. For all you YouTube watchers. Uh, okay, let's let's try this one. We're moving on to the SNES. This has uh, its title has an an oh, well, it had an air of Mario sound to it. But who knows now? Looking at this, this is Mushroom Kingdom Meltdown Two. Welcome to your diminish. What? Oh, 
Okay. Oh, arrived is spelt wrong. Yeah, what's that? Audio doesn't sound great, does it? See if it changes when we move to a different. Nope, still there in the background. I think we're going to turn it down a little. Oh, and we're going to walk into fireball because we're concentrating on the noise too much. Tell you what gonna do a quick restart and see if it's see if it's the ROM maybe Now, having never played the original, it feels like it's just a, a hack for the um, the intro. The game feels very similar. Uh, I'm not sitting listening to that. I don't know about you, but but it's a no from me. Okay. And now, this one, this next one, picked primarily because of its title and primarily because I've just finished an audiobook called The Last Action Heroes. Um, and we've got to have a quick look, just a quick look, at Stephen Siegel is the final option. I should have perhaps pronounced it Seagal. Again, it's in my hacks. It could be a homebrew, but it's in my hacks folder. So we're just gonna have a look. Jumping on or for opening? Can I even jump? Oh, do I have to jump from a distance? I need to get out of there, don't I? Face them like that. Feels like you should push that button, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, what was jump again? Ah! 
Oh, I've got a gun, I've got a gun, I've got a gun! Oh, you do fight. Oh, and you push me off. You bastard. Oh. So, so when you press jump to jump, it actually um, jumps you forward. It do You don't actually just jump up straight in the air. You actually do do a, ru a running jump, which, when you can't remember what the jump button is, is a bit disconcerting. See, like that, like that. I got the wrong button. It's at the end of my lives. That's been respawn all the time since, hasn't it? Oh, do I have to? I have to respawn there and jump. Yeah, that that was the jump button. I see it now. Well, don't we go with him? I can hear him punching and shit. Why can't I see it? You... I can hear him. It's punching and kicking and shit, but I can't see him. What the hell? happened there um wow well okay it was short-lived and perhaps they only programmed one level maybe but that that was steven seagal is the final option um up until the point where he went off screen and nothing else happened madness madness Pro proper Weird madness. Um, <laughs> well, look, look, I promised you a shorter show this week because it's difficult to quality control a whole bunch of hacks. You just don't know what you're going to get. Some worked, some didn't, some did work and were rubbish, um, and some were all right, some were good. So, uh, Yes, until until we hack again next time. I think that is going to do it for hacks for this week. Um, which means we're going to go to here. And pop that open. Make sure we've removed hacks. So that we don't get it again. And find out what we're going to do next week. Oh no, go on, go on, go on, bit further, bit further, oh, okay, we're going to look at um, Sonic games that we haven't played or that are in the world of Sonic, and you've had a bit of experience of how I played Sonic this week, so um, I hope you're super excited for that, um, wow, I'm going to have to go through and see what we've played and what we haven't. And have a look. Um, okay, well, there we go. Ah, uh, oh, super warm. Um, you can email us if you want. If you've got some Sonic games that you think we should play that we haven't already played, then um, email us retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website snugradio.co.uk. Um, 
we stream live every Monday on Twitch, which if you're watching now live on Twitch, you know. Uh, but if you're watching on YouTube and you want to come and join us live, then uh, then you can. Monday's from 7, UK time. And um, thank you if you're watching us on Twitch or on YouTube, where we are at Snug Radio, by the way. Then uh, thank you for watching. We appreciate you having you around. Uh, and hope you enjoyed some of the games that you've seen tonight. Um, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok as Snug Radio, believe it or not. Um, so that's all the places we are on the net. So you can get hold of us at any of those places, actually. Drop us a message. We also have a Discord. If you want to come and drop us more than a message and chat and stuff like that, then... Um, head on over to our discord we've got a link in the show notes wherever the show notes are by this video wherever you're watching it there'll be a link so when you've done all that um what we'd lo love you to do um is nutty cluster who's having trouble with their internet but usually is our extraordinary a moderator extraordinaire our extraordinary monitor moderator um she has a design shop. She has a design shop, and it's called Inkyspiration. And over there, you'll be able to buy lots and lots of different items with lots and lots of different designs on. So however many designs she's done, there's exponentially more products that you can have it on. Um, it's at Redbubble. Uh, so if you go to Inkyspiration, again, there'll be a link. Wherever the links are, in wherever you're watching it, there'll be a link. To Inkyspiration. And um, yeah, if as I always say, if you're an eccentric billionaire, then Nutty Cluster would really appreciate lots of things from her shop being bought. Um, so yes, Taskmaster fans, take note. She has a, a range of Taskmaster quotes. Simple, but effective. So uh, if you want portcullis on a mug, then there's no better place to get it than ink inspiration um and when you've gone there you eccentric billionaire and you've spent i don't know a few hundred thousand pounds on stuff and you've got a little bit of pocket cash left i have a design store as well yes i have a design store it's called the glorious idiot and it's got lots of designs in a retro -y style designs it's got a, a sort of a i don't know i was gonna say a 70s aesthetic but it's kind of based around tiki's and then i broadened my um my designs so we've got some um paintings some like copies of paintings uh with unusual things in them or we've got um cats drinking coffee or drinking hot drinks if you prefer it doesn't have to be coffee uh, anyway you eccentric billionaires that's another place for you to stop and get some cool merch um and I think that's about it. So, without any further ado then, I'm Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Until next time, play something retro. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>